Hey V, Michael called before sundown, out front of the Mega Tower. Gonna be there? Of course I will. See you then. Tom, how'd you know? First time you've done anything like this. Just imagine you're doing what a doll does, just different program. You're great at that. So glad you came. Molded over in my head, y'all were right. Sometimes the only rational course of action is a kick in the nuts and a bullet between the eyes. Any idea how I can get to Hiromi? Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Okay, not all, but we're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. And Maiko? Where's she? Meeting with Hiromi to avoid raising any suspicions. She'll make him stay put until we're in. 
Remember, let the behavioral chip do what it wants. You got no time to deliberate, weigh decisions. Just follow your instincts. Freeze, tense up for even a second, could cost you your life. Got it? All right, we going in? Let's do this. Hey, ten cuidado. Shootings have been reported along the 1, 166, and 101. Eyewitness accounts point to inter-clan disputes. Attacks on unaffiliated persons has not exceeded the average. However, in an abundance of... You two, head in right after us. Go straight to clouds. About fucking time. ...to avoid side roads. We'll continue to... Stay sharp. Gangoons might be lurking. Gotta jack into the panel on the other side. Can you take him out? But then, everyone all in position? Tom and Roxy should already be at Clouds. We go on Maiko's signal. They'll mop up security, you deal with Hiromi. But first, you gotta get into the penthouse. You gonna breach security? Get me in the penthouse? Thought I could do it, but... Sorry, it's not gonna happen. Gotta manage on your own. You not coming with me? More likely not to be detected if you're alone. Besides, I'll be more useful here. If they activate any alarms, I can override. Okay, on my way. Elevators on the other side. Be safe. How's the sitch? They're inside the clouds. Who's taking which floor? I'll take the lower level. Tom will head upstairs. We're all set. And this is your local latest. The NCPD has urged caution when using data terms. A routine inspection has shown many have been corrupted with malware. Police experts have confirmed the identified virus can lead to cyberware failure and, in extreme cases... All right, on the roof. Jump down onto the balcony. Careful, though, okay? On my mark! Go! I'll be late. <clears throat> I told you, I have shit tons of work. No, don't wait up. I don't want any fucking dinner. Everything you cook tastes like sawdust anyway.
Jesus, fuck! Floor's clear! I killed him! I killed them all! Same here! Go to the surveillance cam in front of the security room. Here, finally. Was beginning to think you wouldn't make it. Right, wrong. Chicks will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. I don't like her either. She tries too hard. Can we get this over with? Why are there three guys? What's she playing at? That's our target, Hiromi Sato. What are they watching? Demo reel of Cloud's next top doll. Specially selected by yours truly. A lucky girl's gonna replace Evelyn. Hope she proves smarter. Who are the other two? Target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on my I know face. the claws. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Maiko! I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? Maiko, our plan made no allowance for witnesses. A show of force, we said. And any show requires an audience. Can't beat the system. I know it, you know it. And forget about bypassing it. Only ways to jump in with both feet. Grab power from within. Don't like this one bit. Too late for second thoughts. Tom and Roxy've done their part. Your little doll revolution is underway. Either we consolidate and win it all, or let everything go to waste. Meaning you want to replace Hiromi. Mm-hmm. Even if that means joining the Tiger Claws. How the fuck else do you expect me to protect Clouds from other gangs? Do you think? Well, she is no Barker. Wait. What's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sato's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. He murdered Oswald Forrest. And now he's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds needs new management. Am I to understand that this future manager stands before me now, speaking- Hold on, Michael. I think you're getting carried away. I see not all has been agreed. V, you gotta take him down. That's why we're here. Bored of all this chatter. I'd rather we just cut to the quick. No, you fuck! See, what the hell were you thinking? Have you any idea what's gonna happen now? What might that be? They'll have their revenge. You've turned clouds into a ticking time bomb. It's not your problem anymore. So just let it go and get out. Maybe I will, but not before I paint the walls with your blood.
All right, V, get out of there. Exits on the lower level of the apartment. Then find the elevator. Tom and Roxy are outside and safe. They weren't followed. Get down to street level, waiting by the food stalls. Should have seen that coming. Probably had this planned from the start. Same sec we walked into her office. Jesus, am I a gunk. Now, don't be dramatic, Judy. There's a difference between being a gonk and believing people want to do good. I know you do. I don't need to believe that. I just know it. Thank you. See you later, V. See you around, Judy. Oh, you again. Johnny wants to ask you out on a date. What do you think? Johnny's asking? Or is it you? Johnny, you're the one who said you got no trouble telling us apart. Okay. And where'd we go? Where'd you want to go? Silver Pixel Cloud in North Oak. Okay. I'll swing by the afterlife. Pick you up. Yo, yo, ever try rainbow poppers? Purple haze? Got something that'll keep you hard Got something that'll keep you hard.
Some crew taking you along as bait? That a compliment? You look... different. <laughs> Try again. Maybe you'll find some charm third time around. Hey, Rogue. Ready? Again, you. We going? Where's Johnny? Couldn't make it after all? I'm just your driver. See, you keep him on a short leash. <laughs> Wise beyond your years. This Johnny's Porsche? <laughs> Where'd you get it? That's what was in the container. The one Grayson was talking about. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Got a lot of memories in this car. Let's go. Silver Pixel Cloud, your favorite place? Once, probably. Haven't been there in ages. Drive-ins went out of style a century ago. But Silver Pixel's still hanging in there. Sounds like a preen place for a date. I thought so, too. Which is why I suggested Johnny take me there. A million years ago. So it wasn't his idea. Of course not. His idea of a romantic night out was blowing up our Osaka HQ. All right, V. Tell me what's going on. For real. Meaning? Johnny doesn't do a thing without an ulterior motive. So what's in play this time? Johnny's changed. He really does want to spend some time with him. No hooks, no lines, no sinkers. Right. Just taking it all in. A selfless Johnny Silverhand. Apparently you're a positive influence on him. Here we are. Fuck. I don't believe it. It really has been years. Managed to shut the whole thing down. V, try to get inside. Can't stop us, won't stop us. We asked you out on a date. <clears throat> All right. Do your thing. I'll watch.
Okay, gotta be the past, this. Guess we really are going to the movies. Let's go. Well done. Try and get the projector started. I'll get us some seats. Sure thing. Exactly where I was supposed to take her. Entrance is over here. Right, let's go check the projector. Okay, looks like I found the projector. You wouldn't happen to know how to get it up and running. Huh, interesting. Bushido 10, fade to black. Must be a classic by now. Look at that. Last played Bushido 10. Perfect. Looks like a spurt of runny shit. V, we're at a drive-in. Movie's the last thing we care about. Just want some background noise, a little blood, tits, and gore, that sort of thing. Bushido will give you that. All right, V, run along. I'll take it from here. Have fun, you crazy kids. Grabbed us the best spot. Hop on up. That's how you imagine this evening going. Always knew things would have to change for us to just go out and catch a movie. Never imagined they'd change this much. Let's pretend it's 2015, huh? We just met, and I got no idea what a bastard you are. But I like 2077, Rogue. A far inferior version. Okay, so it's 2015. If you could do it all again, what would you change? Anything at all? Yeah, I do carry. Huh? I mean, guy deserved it. Always trying so damn hard. Fucking hell, Johnny. I was being serious. Hey, hey, hey. What's this? Nothing, it's just... Had a lot of time to think while you were away. What ifs and all that. Sure that's it? Nothing about Grayson or Smasher? What? What's Smasher got to do with anything? Getting the sense you still got a thorn in your side there. Cause I do. I'm irate, disappointed, but rather not think about it now. I think you might be hiding something from me. Johnny, there's a heap of things I'm hiding from you. But all we got's this one night.
don't got much to offer you. Still more than before. I know I fucked up back then. See it now. See, I could have been myself around you. Only you. No pretending, no posing. Johnny. I... can't. I see what you're trying to do, but... I'm in a different place now. Was it something I said? No. You're just too late. The rogue you knew is gone. And I don't want to keep pretending otherwise. Got no idea what you're talking about. I know. And I'd rather it stayed that way. Let's just watch the movie. That how you're gonna leave it? Better this way. Take care, Johnny. Gone. Yep. Guess things did not go swimmingly. Nope. Was gonna be a nice night at the drive in. Now she's mad and won't tell me what about. Any guesses? Remember Grayson? How they spoke? How weird it was? Weird's not the word, I don't think. He was toying with her. There'll be something to that. Gotta mull it over. For now, take me to North Oak. That's supposed to help you figure out Rogue? No. Carrie. Tell you once we're there. Movie was a turd wrapped in crepe paper. My name is Arif Iqbal, and this is WNS News. In today's international segment, reports of hardship have emerged from Alaska. According to the Incorporated Press, corn harvests have dropped by 80% from last year's yields, the result of catastrophically heavy rains and floods plaguing the region. Local authorities are under obligation to provide nearly 80 million bushels of their crop to Biotechnica the engineers behind the frost corn hybrid species. The city of Juneau now faces a difficult choice of whether to honor the agreement, causing severe shortages in Alaska, or break the contract and forego next year's seed corn delivery from Biotechnica. Whether you believe Alaskans deserve humanitarian aid, or perhaps a lesson in self-reliance, cast your vote at the address below. Freak accident or targeted attack? 
Nano bees terrorize the residents of Milan. Eyewitness accounts tell us 7 million of the Fengwang nanobots suddenly ceased their pollination functions and buzzed straight for the Lombardy capital. This ought to work. Well, so why are we here exactly? Heard Carey got himself a buck of mansion here. Done well. Where do you hear anything about Carey? In and about town. Scream sheets are full of shit about him. Oh, right. You weren't around. Mm-hmm. Your big night out. So what? Wanna pay him a visit? Yep. Seems as good a time as any. You always did have some beef with him, didn't you? Me? Nah. He's the one who couldn't decide whether to fuck me or boot me out of the band. Okay, don't want to know anymore. Problem with Care was he had a dick, meaning I wasn't interested. But he was missing the balls. Only posed as a rebel to fit in. Actually desperate not to step on any toes. Arasakas especially. You get along any better with the rest of the band? Others didn't give a rat's dick about me. Nancy just enjoyed controlling us. Treated us all like sex-scavenging half-wits. Which was kinda true for Henry, actually. Tried to get with Denny. Thing was, those two rarely shared the same state of consciousness at once. So I gotta hit Carrie's digs, look around, critique the drapes? Know what they're writing about him? He's depressed, attempted suicide. What, really worried he wants to hurt himself? Who knows? Either way, could give him some pointers. Meaning you want to go in person. Gotta hand you the reins again. Yes. Behaved myself last time, didn't I? I think I warrant another furlough for good behavior. <laughs> uh-huh. First Rogue, now Carrie. Who's next on the list of conjugal visits? Nobody. Just so happens the list of people I consider friends and who are still alive is pretty damn short. Exactly why I need to talk to Carrie. What was that about attempted suicide? Amateur hour. Didn't even cobble together the right audience. Tried to put a bullet through his skull in his room. Bodyguard took his gun like candy from a baby. Could just be the rumor mill. Sure, could. But I want to know. Okay. But I want to know what you plan to do. Nothing stupid, I promise. Just want to see how he's doing. How you plan to tell him it's you? Could be dealing with some real personal shit right now. Might not be the best time to mess with his head. V-Care was always dealing with personal shit. That's why, in spite of everything else, we got along. Don't worry. I'll play it by ear, sensitively. First things first, we gotta get into that house. Okay, just let me know when you want to take the wheel.
the hell is this freak tech? Ugly as seafood barf. Hope it was expensive at least. Something's gotta justify this level of tacky. That he sits here and thinks, the fuck I need all this shit for. Eight out. Always. the only actual necessity in this whole pad. All right, I'll give him that one. Guess if I had a fave, it'd be that one. What's... Old single we put out. No idea why Carrie hoards shit like that. 
Okay. <laughs> Even I know that one. An oldie but a goodie. What's... Second conflict. Carried always goes straight for kitsch with titles. Guess nothing's changed. Wicked bad collection. Well, now I am impressed. Played a few of these myself back in our samurai days. Acts like that run as many eddies? Forget it, we couldn't afford it. That's Carrie's fave.
Ah, oh, beautiful butterfly Carrie emerging from his silky samurai chrysalis. Looks like he's showering. Alone, too. Good thing, believe me. Okay, leave the rest to me. I'll get him out of there. Drop one of Misty's special pills. Let's go. Okay. So much better. Now let's see which are up for show and which are actually strummable. We lost everything. Keep playing. Played enough. You know who I am. Johnny? Carrie? No. <laughs> no. That is some fucking joke. Hang on. What did Silverhand tell me before he died? Visit test. Could just play you another song. Answer me. Told you to leave Samurai. Go your own way. Clearly I was right, as I often am. Johnny fucking Silverhand. Fuck. I mean, how? Surprise. Motherfucker! Okay. Weren't expecting me. I get it. Oh, fucking contraire. Been waiting 50 years to do that. So you changed a bit. Sporting a new style, trying to stay hip. Yeah, kinda. What about you? Shit. Johnny. Oh, man. I need a drink. All right. Come on. Tell me. Why do you look like a small-time kleptopunk from the afterlife? This is V. You like him. The fuck, Donnie? Doesn't explain a thing. Nice place. Ain't seen much of it yet. Moved in after the fourth album came out. All sold well, apparently. Fuck you, Johnny. Don't even start. Who'd you sign with? Shit. With Arasaka. Mornings, I record at their studio. Then evenings, Yori pops over for a little neighborly cookout. Hmm. And who'd you really sign with? MSM Records. Another pillar of society. Come on. Sit down with me. Tell me where you've been all this time. Live here all by your lonesome? Nah, got my cook, Ariel, but he's off today. Miguel, what am I? Not your biz, Jum. Sit down. Start talking. 
steal yourself for a long story. I just really want it to be tragic. As sad as all fuck over all those years. Cause if I hear you spent them with the nomads, open road, winning your hair, or cool and relaxed in orbit, and now you've just popped by to shit all over my life, well, I'ma lose my damn mind. Oh, it is a heartbreaker. Oh, fuck! Remember? The one damn time Henry showed up sober and clean as a whistle. Uh-huh. And played absolute tripe. At least Danny was happy. Who's that? Louise. The ex-wife. The what? Huh. <laughs> You're kidding. How long did it last? Eh, hey, too long. But don't worry. It worked out well. For her. Gave her my house in Tokyo. Cars. Kids. Yeah. Worked out pretty well for you too, then. Looking at him now. Those really were the best of times. Playing fucking rat-infested dumps. Argued before every gig. Had no idea what we wanted to play, and never had an Ed do our name. Nancy? Control freak. Henry smelled like zappers and piss. I was always stealing your pants. Hella good times, man. Never did get what Denny saw in that guy. I mean, smart in that one. Maybe too smart for the company she kept. Nah, Denny always went for losers, and capable of dressing themselves. Oh, Hank was perfect. Half a brain and high all the time. She got to rescue him over and over again. Why'd she never try and fix me? Would've had to get in line, that's why. Stuff about you being depressed. It true? Nope. Promo stratagem. Suicide attempts, too. Think putting a bullet through your skull will help your sales? Didn't work for you. Nobody remembers Samurai. Now you're just butthurt because I managed fine without you. Fuck me, got no answer to that. Still in touch with the gang? Just Nance. Changed her name to Bess Isis. Works for N54 News. Could track down Denny and Henry if you want. Maybe get together? You know, jam or something? Best Isis. Damn, Nance really went for it. Though all I hear is part-time stripper with a thing for ancient Egypt. Shame you died. Sure she would have welcomed your input. How is she in general, besides having nothing to do with music? Could ask her yourself. Henry probably killed his own liver. Nah, it would have hurt if he was gone. Got mutual friends. Few calls and I should be able to track him down. Denny might still be in the biz. Actually had talent. And the spine. Yeah, released something not too long ago. Moved to North Oak, too. You just so, said you weren't in touch. Didn't hear it from her. I think she might be avoiding me. You ever leave this house? Nope. You want to bring Samurai back? I uh, know. Could do one gig, play some dive where nobody plays us. I mean, got my reputation to think about. But I won't have to explain what happened, all this. Nah, we'll spare him. Hella boring story. 
Biochips, Arasaka's evil schemes, magic pills. We'll just say you're my new input. All right, let's do it. Fuck yeah! Okay! Send you Nancy's number in a sec. I'll go after Henry and Denny. Hmm, I'm not there, figure it out with V. Sure, uh, you two get along? Not lately, no. We don't have much of a choice, though. <laughs>